what is almost guaranteed to be the most popular deck in Lost Origin. Well, we gotta talk about it and we gotta go over an early deck list for it. Hey everybody, Nick from Nine Card TCG, and today we're going to be looking at what is very likely going to be the biggest and most popular deck coming out of Lost Origin, despite the fact that it lost in a uh, Twitter poll and Insta or whatever poll, Twitter and YouTube poll that I had done. We are, of course, talking about Giratina V Star. This card looks really, really good, and there's a couple of different ways it can be built. We're going to be focusing on one build today, maybe in the future we'll do a second build, but we'll talk about the one that I think, I don't know if I, if I, this is so tough, I don't know if I like this version more than another or not, but we're going to talk about it and we'll, we'll talk about some of the different text that we can put into it, but before we do, if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment, those things tell YouTube this is a good channel and other people should watch it. This is just a template, this is a place for you to say, okay, I like this, I got this idea, I'm going to change X, Y, Z. This is not by any means a final list. This is just a jumping in point. If you're interested in Giratina V-Star, this is somewhere to start and then you build the list how you see fit later on. But with all that said, we're going to head over to Poke Gear where we can take a look at this deck list. Giratina V, 220 health dragon type Pokemon, which means no weakness, no resistance. Retreat cost of two, gets free retreat with air balloon. Abyss Seeker for a colorless energy. Look at the top four cards of your deck and put two of them into your hand. I just hit my desk pretty hard. And the other two go in the Lost Zone. What is the Lost Zone? We covered it previously, but basically it's just an extra, almost like exile or banished section. Uh, it's not the discard, so cards that would normally go into the discard, go into the Lost Zone. It's a second discard, but cards do not come back from the Lost Zone. You can get cards back from the discard with things like Ordinary Rod, Melanie, Raihan, stuff like that. Once it goes into the Lost Zone, it is there for the rest of the game. Why do we want to put cards in the Lost Zone? Well, we have card effects that, de that do things when we put more and more cards into the Lost Zone. So Abyss Seeker is a pretty good attack. We also have a Shred attack Grass, Psychic, and Colas does 160 damage. Ignore effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So you can hit through Mill Tank. You can hit through Duraludon if you have a special energy for some reason. You can hit anything you want with, uh, with the actual Shred Attack. Now, what's interesting is that I don't mind Giratina V having Shred because it's only a 220 health Pokemon. So it's pretty easy to knock out with like Trinity Nova, Palkia can knock it out, Mew can knock it out. Uh, it's it's really not that bad versus like something like Mew VMAX with 310 HP, Free Retreat, and all this other stuff that Fusion Strike Pokemon have. So uh, this, and also being a three cost attack is a lot, and it's a multi-color attack requirement. Unlike Max Miracle that can just for two Fusion Strike energies and you can get that in a single turn, this you can get in a single turn too, but it takes a little bit more than just simply finding Elisa Sparkle, say. So, uh, Shred on this really isn't that big of a deal. We do really want to attack with our Giratina V-Star. Why would it show? It's like the card I want to show off the most doesn't want to show. Giratina V-Star, 280 health. Lost impact for that same Grass Psychic Colorless energy attack cost. 280 damage. Put two energy attached to your Pokemon in the Lost Zone. Now, what's really important to note is that it does not say where those energies come from. So you can have a benched Pokemon with two energies on it and you can use Lost Impact and take energies from any Pokemon you want and put them into the Lost Zone. Now, it, it also doesn't say this. I don't, I want to see the full card. So I don't know if it's put two energy attached to your Pokemon in any way you want in the Lost Zone or if it has to be two Pokemon, two energy from the same Pokemon. Uh, this translation is a little ambiguous to me so we'll have to wait to see what the real card says before we uh before we make any judgments on that now one of the things that to note is that this is a lost zone or lost zone engine build and you could pair this with arceus and now arceus is a really nice combo for this for that lost impact attack because you use trinity charge or trinity nova to power up a giratina v-star super super easy turn one turn two no problem then 
you can use that double turbo energy to get rid of you could discard it after attacking with lost impact and you're only discarding one energy card versus having to discard two so and then you know you can attack with giratina v star and then switch back into your arceus attach dte do it again like there are things that we can do to keep attacking with giratina v star with the arceus build that you is a little bit harder to do with the lost zone engine build but We'll talk about the Lost Zone today because it's the newer mechanic and I think it's really interesting. We do have a V-Star Power Star Requiem for a Grass and a Psychic Energy. If you have 10 or more cards in the Lost Zone, your opponent's active Pokemon is just knocked out. You swallow them up, you suck them into the Shadow Realm, you... Ugh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I was going to... Moving on, you just knock out your opponent's active Pokemon, which means you can use something like Lost Impact, hit 280 on an Arceus V-Star, and take two prizes, and you can do it again. And then it doesn't matter if they have Big Charm, Lake, Acuity. This is really nice for things like Guja V-Star, where they use Iron Rollout, and they have Lake Acuity in play, and they have whatever in play, uh, Radiant Gardevoir, and they use Fantina. And they're taking 240 less damage, which means your Lost Impact would do 40 damage, maybe 70 if you have a choice belt. It's not really a lot. And then you have to discard two energy. But Star Requiem says, well, it doesn't matter how much health you have or how much damage reduction I, you know, I would deal. I'm just going to go ahead and knock you out. So really, really cool V Star power. Interestingly, we are running this with Leafy on V with the greening cells ability because we're able to search our deck for our grass energy and attach it to one of our Pokemon. So this is a really nice way of just going okay, well, I'm going to go first, or even if I go second, something like that, I can uh, attach an energy to a Pokemon, then use Greening Cells to accelerate an energy to another Pokemon. Uh, maybe I don't want to use Greening Cells if I'm going second, and I want to use something like Abyss Seeker. Uh, you know, you have your options, but Leafeon V is a nice way to accelerate some energy. It does have 200 health, so, it, it, you know, it, it can be a little bit of a bench liability. We do have a V-Star, to evolve and uh 260 health means it's really not going to get one shot by anything leaf guard you can attack with you can actually use this pokemon to attack with hits for 180 damage and then you're going to take 30 less during your opponent's next turn this is not a bad option to attack with especially with things like Darkrai v star running around glary moltres and things just random things that are weak to grass so not a terrible thing and you do have an uh v star power with this as well IV Star lets you, it's a boss's orders. You choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and bring it into the active. Really nice uh, in case you are not using Star Requiem for the game, like you don't need to that game or whatever. You can use this V Star power. Remember, you can only use a single V Star power during the game. You can use IV Star, pull up a Pokemon, and then hit into it really hard with Giratina V Star and just take a big ko so that's really cool you can use this from the bench you don't have to have it in the active really really nice we do have some draw capability with crobat v play this card from your hand to draw up to six cards in your hand a little bit of extra draw with radiant greninja you can discard an energy card from your hand to draw two cards alternatively you could run radiant halucha because now giratina v star does 280 damage then you have a choice belt you're going to be doing 310 Holucha will let you do 340, which is enough to knock out any Pokemon VMAX. And between things like Ky uh, Kyurem VMAX, Ice Rider VMAX, Flying Pikachu VMAX, you may want to be able to hit those upper tiers, that, that 330, 340 range, uh, to take one shots on VMAXs. So something to consider, especially if you're running maybe like the Arceus build, something like that, where you don't need the draw as much because you can use Starburst to find the combo pieces. But anyway, speaking of combo pieces, we have... Comfy. Comfy here is a new card with Lost Origin. Flower picking. Once during your turn, if this card's in the active, you may look at the top two cards of your deck. Choose one to go in your hand, one goes in the Lost Zone. Easy. We're going to cycle through Comfy's as best as we can using things like Escape Rope, Switch, Scoop Up Nets, Air Balloon. All those cards are really designed to get Comfy's in and out of the active so that we can keep using that flower picking. Now, we have a Cramorant in here. Cramorant with the Lost Supply ability. If four cards or more are in the Lost Zone, you can ignore the energy requirements on this card to attack. And this is really, really nice, especially going second, because we can 
use something like Comfy a couple of times. We can use Corvus's experiment, which is a really good supporter we'll talk about in just a moment. And then we, next thing you know, we got uh, four cards in the Lost Zone. We hit with Crammer, and we're doing either really good chip damage, we're knocking out a Sobble, a Bidoof, something like that. So really nice way to just get some easy damage in there. Ordinary Rod's going to help us get some energy back after we discard them. We are going to be discarding energies with uh, Giratina so that we get them back so we can continue to attack. We might have to Lost Zone some energies. We might have to discard energies for like Quick Ball. You may even want two Ordinary Rods. You might want, instead of an Ordinary Rod, you might want Energy Recycler to get five energies back at once. I don't really know the best counts yet, but definitely need some type of energy recovery. You may want to scrap the Fog Crystals for something like Training Quartz or a second Ordinary Rod. I don't really know, but um, why do we have the Fog Crystal? Gets us the Psychic Energy, gets us the Comfies. Uh, it's just a nice little out to if we need an energy for the turn. We can get it with Fog Crystal. We can get it with Comfy. Um, you might think that this is, or you can get a Comfy with it rather. Uh, you might think this is a little unnecessary because of the Mirage Gate. Now, Mirage Gate is a card that we can only play if we have seven or more cards in the Lost Zone. But if we do, we can search a deck for two basic energies of different types and attach them to our Pokemon in any way we want. This is good, but again, we need seven cards in the Lost Zone and we have to have Mirage Gate. So, you know, it's nice, but now we can use Mirage Gate to power up a V or a V-Star, and then Fog Crystal for another Psychic, and then attach and attack with Garantina V-Star. So it's a way to just kind of guarantee that you're getting a comb fee a little bit earlier, guaranteed to get an energy a little bit earlier. Maybe you just want to search an energy to discard with Radiant Greninja and then draw two more. It just it opens up a little bit, I think, uh, but it might not be super necessary. We have some Pokemon search in the forms of Ultra Ball and Quick Ball. We got, um, I talked about the switch, scoop up escape ropes, the air balloons, those are really just to cycle through comfies and maybe switch into a Giratina or a Leafeon that's powered up and ready to attack after we discard energies with a different Giratina or something. Uh, Choice Belt is going to let us do a little bit more damage. We don't, we probably don't need it outside of like Arceus and Talion decks. Uh, you're not one-shotting VMAXs with, with Choice Belt except for things that have 310, so like a Jolteon. Uh, don't remember how much flying Pikachu VMAX has. I think it's 320, so you'll be 10 shy on that, which is where that Radiant Holucha is really nice. Uh, Raihan, cards get knocked out, especially when we're cycling through Comfies. Uh, they're likely to stay, especially in the early game, they're likely to stay in the active, so we can... Comfy gets knocked out, no problem. We can get an Accelerate a basic energy from our discard and then search our deck for anything we want. Really, really powerful couple of bosses orders so we can pull up something and just take an easy ko thornton here i debated on whether to put thornton why is this doing this to me i debated on whether to put th we're gonna we're gonna make this bigger we're gonna make this bigger i debated on whether or not putting thornton in this in this deck i think it could be interesting um it lets you choose a basic pokemon that you have in play and swap it with a basic pokemon in your discard Everything that's attached to the basic Pokemon in play, damage counters, energies, tools, turns in play, all that kind of stuff stays. You just literally just swap the Pokemon. So this is a really cool way to get back a, a Cramorant, get back a Radiant Greninja, maybe get back a Giratina if you discarded or lost zoned a couple, they get knocked out, you can't find a Quick Ball or something, uh, and, but you need to evolve into a V-Star, you can go ahead and trade a Comfy for a Giratina and then evolve. Alternatively, this is a really good way to not give up two prizes. You put, put down this Crobat and you're like, man, they're going to boss KO in next turn and I'm going to lose and there's nothing I could do about it. Well, now I can Thornton into a Comfy and now if they boss KO, they're only going to get the one prize from the Comfy, not the two from the Crobat. So it works kind of both ways. It can be used offensively or defensively and it's really nice. Do keep in mind, again, if your opponent rapid flowed a, you know, hit... G Max Rapid Flow onto your Crobat and hit 120 damage, and then you Thornton into a Comfy, damage counter stay. So you are going to uh, take that knockout, and it'll get knocked out immediately. But maybe losing the one prize is better than losing two. So uh, something to think about. Cole versus Experiment is our big supporter for this deck. We want to use it 
almost as much as possible. If it's not this, it's probably boss. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose three of them to go in your hand, two go in the lost zone. So we could go ahead, just get two comfies. We use comfy twice and then a culverse, and then we can attack a Cramoran for free. We use Comfy twice and a Culverse, that's four. We do it again the next turn, that's eight. Now we can use Mirage Gate easy. Um, it's, it's honestly not that hard to set up the Lost Zone if you can kind of draw through your deck with Comfy, Greninja, Crobat, Culverse, things like that. And we can thin the deck out with our Pokemon Surge. We can thin the deck out with Leafy on V. We can do quite a bit of stuff then. We can even thin further with something like Fog Crystal. So a lot of options there. 5-5 five, five energy split on the Grass and Psychics. And then our last 60th card is just a Capture Energy. Giratina does allow us to attach a Colorless Energy. Leafeon allows us to attach a Colorless Energy. So, you know, we can attach to one of those things to get another basic, maybe find a Comfy, something like that. Uh, Leafeon does have a retreat of one. Leafeon V, anyway. Leafeon V star does have a two. But we could attach a Capture Energy to a Leafeon retreat you know get a comfy retreat use comfy and then greening cells onto something like there are things that we can do with this capture energy aside from just consistency um whether it's to progress our board state to attack retreat something uh progress our board state in terms of building up more pokemon whatever it is we need to do capture energy can help with that and uh that is pretty much the entire deck uh, i think giratina is poised to be Pretty powerful being able to one shot Palkias and Arceuses, which are some of the most popular decks in the game at the moment. You're 20 damage shy, roughly, of knocking out a lot of V Maxes, maybe 30 damage. So the Holucha really does help in that scenario if you feel like you need it. You would have to swap out the Greninja, but if you're like, you know what, between the Crobats and the Comfies and the Choruses, I have enough draw. I don't need the Greninja. I don't want to waste my energies like that. You can go ahead and replace it with the Holucha, but. Yeah, that's, that's the whole deck, and I want to hear your thoughts, so make sure you tell me in the comments. That's going to do it for us today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. a little informative. Again, let me know your thoughts on this Giratina deck in the comments below. I'm, I really am curious. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. As a reminder, I will be on vacation next week. I mean, by the time... <laughs> if you're watching this, I don't... You probably know I'm going to be on vacation. But on the off chance, I will be on vacation next week, so there won't be any videos. I apologize for that. I'm going to be hiking... I will not be near a computer, so I uh, couldn't get anything out even if I wanted to. But yeah, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.